In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the axle holes seen in the dragster bodies for the axle rod to go through to attach the wheels onto your dragster. And then I'm going to show you first how to cut your dragster to whatever length that you want it to be at. All right. So first, before we get started, um, you should have gotten this dragster body from Google Classroom. All right. So our, our classroom page, I put the dragster body as a material into whichever period you are for me. I put it into our Google Classroom page under the Tinkercad tab. Uh, once you find the body, make sure you click copy and tinker and it'll create one or it will cre create a copy of my body that I've made uh, for you to use to work off of for our CO2 dragsters. All right, so once you have that body in your uh, dashboard, what you need to do is make a copy of it to just practice on um, before you actually make your CO2 dragster. So it should say like copy of dragster body up here before you start working. That's very, very important. So please make sure that you have a duplicate of the dragster body before you start uh, working on this one. All right, to make a duplicate, which I'll show you really quick, you're just going to click on the gear looking thing in the top right corner of whatever design you want to duplicate. And there's a literal duplicate button right there. You click on it and it will make a new copy for you. So please make sure that you make a copy. All right, so uh, yours will probably look like mine, right? Once you get into the file, which is okay, all you have to do is click on the home button on the left hand side of your screen and it will turn like this so it's a little bit nicer to look at. Now, there are a few things I want to go over about this dragster body that I've made for you um, before we get started with cutting our dragster to length. The first thing is the CO2 cartridge spot, right? So like that metal container that I was telling you about. I made that for you right over here, right? So that is the yellow rectangular piece that you see here. Okay, so that is what the CO2 cartridge is. Okay, so that's where the spot is. So remember, we cannot cut into the CO2 cartridge spot, right? So that's why I had you put that on your brainstorming sketches. Because if we cut into this yellow spot right here, the car won't be able to move, right? There's one on every single uh, side of this car, or you could also see I have a little hole for the CO2 cartridge that to, you know, go in, right? If this was actually a CO2 car, um, but there's one also on the bottom as well, which I'll show you how well, you could actually delete that one if you want to right now. So what I just did was I clicked that rectangular box on the bottom and just clicked backspace. All right, so you could delete that one now, but I have one on either side, depending on which side you're gonna be doing your shaping for, right? or, or uh, you have the orbit rotated to. So for right now, just leave them there uh, before we group or later on, because we're gonna be grouping right now, so you'll see that I'll get glued to the side of your car, which that's okay. I'll show you how to get rid of it uh, before we start decorating our cars, all right? Then this blue line, same thing. I'll show you how to get rid of that as well before we start decorating. Uh, but that is the line where your two holes for your wheel and axle are going to go on, which we're gonna be placing today. All right, so that is where the axles would go through. All right, the holes are going to be placed on that blue line just so it's easier and just so we know the holes are placed in a straight line. All right, so first things first. All right, we want to cut our dragster to length because right now it's the full about 10 inches, right, that max length 
that you're able to have it. Now, you could leave it like this. I mean, I suggest you cut it just even slightly, right? Um, but it's up to you. The only thing is, I would say, is try to leave more than half of the block here. Uh, you don't want it to get too short, especially if you need room, you know, to shape your dragster vehicle to look how it does in your brainstorming sketch, or your final sketch, I should say. So you want to make sure that you leave definitely more than, a little more than half of this block so you can do your shaping. Okay, so no, don't cut it less than half. So with that being said, in order to cut this block, we need a hole, right? Because we need to cut through a solid material. So what you're going to do is up here, there's already a pre-made block for us. So we're going to take that. And it's already a hole, like I said, so that's great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this box long and wide. All right, so I'm going to make mine about 65, doesn't matter. Um, how long you make yours, we could always adjust it later, right? But you also want to make it long, right? So it could get pushed through the car, right? It could be as long as you want. Like I said, it's just going to cut through um, dead space. So I'm going to make it pretty long. Then we also want to make sure we adjust the height. Okay, so that's that top white box right here. So it goes through the whole car, right? Because now we could see, since I did all of that, that darker shaded part is what's getting cut off the car. So now, of course, we don't want to leave this over here, right? So I'm going to just scoop this over here. So now that means that that's how much of the length is going to get cut off of the car. And this red part is going to stay, right? So that looks like a pretty good length. Right? But I'll just show you, let's just say, you know, you want more, right? Depending on how big you made your box. You could just click on that middle black cube and you can extend it however short or long you want your car like again i don't suggest doing any shorter than what i have here on my screen right now all right so make sure you adjust it as fit so i'm gonna do mine right there i think that's a good that looks like a pretty good size to me and once you're ready and you like the size of the car that you're going to have what I want you to do is, because like I keep saying, Tinkercad is weird. Yes, it looks like it's going to cut the bottom of the car, but just to be sure, we're going to push this box downward. So I have to zoom out to see that. But you'll see that black cone, right, that we use to lower and lift objects. I'm going to lower that a little bit further down just to make sure that it's definitely going through. And then I'm going to click over to the left side of the screen draw my big red box around the whole entire thing let go so everything's highlighted and then finally I could chop off this piece by clicking group and you can see it turned my block a different color right so it turned to blue which is okay okay if you liked the red you could change it black to red um, or if you know what color you want your car already you could change that if you want to as well it's up to you so I will change mine, or I'll just leave it this pinkish color, and that's that. All right, so we have our block cut to length. Now what we have to do is put in our holes right on that horizontal line that I have. Now it's not blue, um, but you can still see the line there for us to place the holes onto. Alright, so before we put our hole into the car, what we're going to do is we're going to put our work plane on the side of the car so it's easier to put our cylinder holes on the side of the car. Now, yes, of course, we could just rotate our cylinders, but just so we could skip that step what we're going to do is click W on your keyboard, so the, the letter W, right? Move your mouse around like we've been doing with our custom wheels, and you're going to just click when it turns orange on the side of your car, and the plane will snap to the side. 
Then what I want you to do is grab a cylinder that's already pre-made a hole, right? It's just already done for us since we are making a hole and cutting through our, our, uh, our cars. And you're going to drag it and place it anywhere right now. All right. So now I'm going to turn this just so I could see, and you can as well. We're going to change the dimensions of the cylinder. Now, before we change this, I just want to let you know it is going to get a little bit small. All right, so to make this easier first, we're going to change the height, right? And you're going to just extend it as, as far as you can right now, right? And then I'm going to click on this cone and I'm going to push it through. Now we're going to change the dimensions, right? And you'll see why we just did that in a second, because watch how small it's going to get. We're going to change this from 20 by 20. So what I just did was click on the bottom white right corner. And we're going to click on the first 20 and change it to 3 by 3. And now it got significantly smaller. If we didn't extend this and push it through, um, it would have been hard to grab on an empty gray part to try and move this circle. So that's why we did this first. So now I can grab anywhere and just be able to move it. All right, so right now I have my circle or my cylinder or my hole, I should say, in the middle of my car, right, which I don't want. I want this to go onto this line down here that I placed for you. All right, so I want you to move that down. For this, right, the little arrows on your keyboard might be really, really helpful for you to get it exactly on the line. So I'm going to look at this now from the front view. And it looks like it is on the line, right? So you could see if it is, if that darker shaded hole right, is right on the line, which it is. All right, so it looks pretty good. So now, right, when, once you get it on the line anywhere, you want to make sure that this is... So I'm going to do the front one first. You don't want to make sure... Well, you want to make sure that it's not too close to the front of your car, right? Because you want room... Uh, to give those wheels, right? If you put it too close to the front, they could snap off potentially because there's not that much wood over here holding them through your car. All right, so you want them a decently, um, decently ways back. All right, so like I think that looks pretty good. You can put it a little closer, but other than that, like in this front area, isn't the best. You need to have it a little bit further back. All right. Then once you get your first wheel in place, what you're going to do is just copy this. So you're going to click control C, then control V to make a double for the back wheels. All right, or the front, depending on where you put um, the first hole. So for example, for my back wheels, again, I don't want it too close to the back. Right, you want enough material so the wheel could be held on. So you want it as you know symmetrical as possible, right? So you can kind of look at the tick lines if you want to count them. Be my guest, All right? But I'm just gonna do it by eye, and we'll see. That looks pretty close. Maybe a couple. So that looks pretty symmetrical. All right, I might move this one over to the left, like one or two more. And then I'll move this one over a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty symmetrical to me. Alright, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. But it looks pretty good. So now, to cut through the, my, uh, my pink block here, right, to make those holes, we're going to highlight the whole entire thing with that red dotted box. Make sure everything is highlighted. Then click group. And it will cut out your holes for you, right? And we'll be able to see that a little bit more once we move our work plane. So I'm going to click W again on my keyboard and bring the blue work plane back. And now we can see better that it did cut through the material. And now I have a place for my wheels to go, right? So. That's how you know where you're going to place your wheels later. So in the next video, I will show you how to actually shape 
you were dragster to get it to look like how your either some of your brainstorming sketches look or your final sketch. Um, and then the video after that, I'll show you how to shape the top view.